Yo, 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 it's your boy Lunatic Beast here, back with another video. So, continuing on with our LFS series. So, we played the tournament off screen, and the last game, whereas versus Mets, we tied 0 0. Then I played versus Nantes, we drew 1 1. As you guys could can tell, we didn't make it to the next round. Cause, and lastly, we draw with S Stash, S Tack, I don't know how to pronounce your name, my bad. We tied with them 1 1. Very disappointing tournament. Now, this I'm I'm trying to to you know get the team going, trying to get some youth players. I scouted here. I got Rafael Leal, Alfonso Davies, Sandler, Diata. There's some potential players that I want to bring in, and as you guys can see, I'm gonna try to get Alfonso Davies right here. You know, try to bring in the youngster, the 16-year-old Canadian. To the La Liga. Now, obviously, he's one point. He's, his current value is one point seven. But you know, I'm gonna try to try to try to get it cheaper. You know, try to get from one point three five. You know, we asked the uh, Vancouver if they want if they'll accept it. They take the deal. And so now it's time to negotiate his contract. Hopefully, we hopefully we don't have to pay that much. I mean, his current wage is only two thousand one hundred. It should it shouldn't be that much. We're gonna offer him a rotation. They like that five years i'll take that most definitely no release cause that's good with me obviously uh, not bad not bad I'll, I'll take it that's decent now unfortunately we can't sign diata because he just joined them so we're gonna go for rafael out but in the winter i'll try to go for diata i mean the january transfer i'll try to go for diata but instead, I'll, I'll go for Liao right now. I'll try to make them like a deadly combo striker force right there. I don't know what's going to happen with Ruben Sabrino. I might have to play Diata. Yeah, I'm going to play him either as a winger. He might just become a bench player, but we'll see in the future. We'll see how he develops. If he develops good, he might start. If not, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. So Liao, they want one, his current value is 1.5 million. We'll try to... Take 1.45, they want 1.55 mil. Uh, let's go for 1.5. See if they take that. They go with that, alright. I'll take it. Getting some signings in here, which is good. I like it. So now on to the contract. Now, guys, in this episode, you will not be seeing any games. That will be next game where I'll be playing the first game of the season. And like I said, I won't be playing a lot of games this season, so don't expect it. Don't expect much. I won't be playing that much. I'm sorry if it's not weird to have a little cold going on. So, yeah, of course, you know, hate, hate, hate winter, you know. Always get a cold. So we're going to try to get Leal, who wants 3.7 and 45k as a weight assigning bonus, which... It's all right. I mean, but this is this is what the starting lineup's gonna be. Uh, I was deciding whether I should play Monir or was Bohan because I like Monir as a good player. But you know, I decided I'll bring him off the bench. And we're gonna leave Davies and Liao on the reserves. They might get a few run-ins in the cup games, and if Davies develops good enough, I might bring him onto the bench. But probably not because we have the likes of Wacaso in there and Pedraso. I think that's what his name was. I don't. Know quite frankly I don't remember uh, but yeah that's the starting 11 right there I'm gonna make sure I get the backup started and here we have an offer for Alexis which I'm gonna which they rejected they didn't take the AML which I was kind of pissed off for and then here Alexis I mean Danny Iglesias we, we, we try to send him on loan oh no this one's the one where I saw Alexis because previous before there was a one where I tried to sell him, but they didn't want him, so I was just like, oh, "Fuck you, you can suck my dick." So here, you know, just random, you know, random scouting. I found some good players. Jorge, I don't know how to pronounce his name. Sanz, I'm guessing, and Shaquille Kwame Moore, a good, decent right back. He's American, so you know, the American dream might be going on. But Danny Iglesias' loan was rejected, and as you saw there, we saw Alexis for 4.6 million and you know right here we're going to try to sign it was it was between Horace Sands and Philip Sandler 
ultimately I decided to you know what pick Sandler you know I've heard he, I think he has like eight, over 80 something potential 85 I think it is at this potential so I was just like you know what? let me try to sign him I am speaking quite fast I'm sorry if I am it's the Latino in me so he's current value is four mil I I I was like, you know what? They probably they probably won't take under four, so let me try to go for four point five. Around there, four point three. I was like, let me get near that four point one, maybe. They'll take it. And I was surprised, they took it. I was expecting like four point five, somewhere around there, but they just wanted four point one five with the five percent uh chance if I sell them a five percent bonus they want from me. So I was just like, sure, I mean, I'm never going to sell him probably, so I'll keep him. Now, time for the contract. And since this is my biggest signing, I hope to make a bigger one, but probably not. Because after Sandler, we only have like six mil left. Which isn't a lot. And I'm trying to sell players, but offers aren't really coming in. Players don't really go for that much. Uh, we're here... We make Sandler rotation. We want to try to get him for five years. They take it. I try. To, I try not to get a release clause, but you know, I didn't want to take it forever. So I was just like, you know what? Fine. I'll give you the release clause. And here his wage. He had the most expensive signing bonus at 160. And I forgot what the what the extra was. If you completed it. We were just moving on. We have transfer for Qatar. You know, yet again, this man. I was trying to sell him. I had two offers come in for him, but no one accepted it, and I was fucking pissed because of that. So here they offered me seven point two. So I was just like, you know what? Try to give me. I went for nine point five because I was being a little bit greedy because his release cost sixteen mil. So I was like nine point five. They came back with 7.5, I was like, alright, 8.5. We'll see what they say that. They say 7.7, .7, so I was like, alright, how about, how about 8 mil? 8 mil seems, seems fair. It's only like 3k more, and because they are some broke bums, they didn't accept it. Fucking, it's only 3k. Like, what good player are you going to buy for 3k? So here, we're nearing the first game of the season, we have a loan offer for Eric Ruiz. I accepted it, but Bolton couldn't match a deal with the player to take him in, unfortunately, as you guys will see in a short second. Uh, first off, we had a transfer for Katai. We're going to check that out real quick. Ruben Kazan comes in this time for 7.3 mil. So, you know, I'm going in here, you know, trying to think, and, you know, try to think of if they'll take... 8 mil, I won't go with straight 9 mil to begin, I'm not going to be a greedy fuck, so hopefully it works out, because I'm trying to get that money to bring in some better players, and Katai also being a right mid, I already have some good wingers, I don't I don't plan on, on selling, on bringing in more, so I go for 8.3 mil, instant rejection, like come on man, what, what? it's only 8.3, how are you going to reject me like that, so I just waited no it's the first game of the season here and nothing really happened there so we're just going to check out to end the episode off we're just going to check out what the money situation is looking like here i'll edit this budget real quick we're going to have 6.6 .6 mil and 95 wage but anyway guys i'll see you next one this is your balloons peace you want to be signing off i'll see you next one peace